Hello people and welcome to another grocery haul video. In today's video, I'm really excited to show you exactly what I got, not just from the market, Marikiti market for that matter, also what I got from City Market. I have bought enough fruits and groceries to last us a month. So now I want to take you step by step, show you exactly what I bought, how much I paid for it. Prices are a bit different compared to the previous video that we shot. If you're interested, I'm going to link it right here. And now, let me show you what I got. And if this is the kind of content that you like, remember what we do, hit the subscribe button. And now, let's go to the vegetables. So guys, it's the beginning of a new month. And you know how we do. We like to just batch cook and have everything ready as the month is starting. And then we put it in the freezer. And now, we even have a new meal plan. I did a video which I'm going to link here of how to make a meal plan for your family and everything. Step by step, it's very easy and I think it's really helpful if you don't have a meal plan for your family. So please check it out. But now, following that meal plan, I'm getting ready to do some batch cooking and I bought some new ingredients. I didn't go to the slaughterhouse today because the meat we had already bought last time, I divided it into two and that one has already been in the freezer. But I had to go to city market to increase our stock of chicken legs which we used to make chicken and now this is all i bought i also don't have any of the grocery from haul from the supermarket because that was not in my plan today and i just want to show you what i bought tell you the prices and guys i just want to emphasize that just because i shop at my kitty doesn't mean you have to go to my kitty all i'm trying to do is to just persuade you guys to just look for the where you are regardless of where you live just try and look for the cheapest way to get your groceries and to reduce money please do not buy your vegetables from the supermarket unless you absolutely have to or unless you like like really super rich if you are then by all means go ahead but for the rest of us always look for the cheapest way to get what you need in your home that will save you a lot of money and we really try to emphasize that on this channel and now let's go to the vegetables so you can see exactly what we bought and yeah i hope you like it so we are going to start right from this corner over here and these are pixies that i bought pixie or i think they're tangerines i don't know why they call them pixie pixies anyway and today the price was really good because they were going for okay i'm also eating a carrot so bear with me I'm hungry. <laughs> you guys, let me tell you. I went to some nutritionist <laughs> and then he told me, according to the things that he pimad, that he measured, apparently my metabolic weight is that of a 52-year-old woman. Yes. You guys, I'm still trying to recover. So I'm busy eating carrots and being like a rabbit. Gosh, 52. Anyway. So yeah, that's my carrot. But the pixies today were going for 110 per kilo. There's a time I bought them for literally um, 170 per kilo. So today the price was really good. And I prefer them because I'm guaranteed that they're all sweet. They've all been washed, so don't worry. And then I prefer them to oranges. Oranges always disappoint me. And then I went ahead and bought these uh, mangoes. Today the mangoes were going for... 20 bob per piece and it's really big okay let me put out this carrot one last bite okay so now i bought the mangoes they're really big i think if you can see relative to my hand and 20 bob per piece about for 200 shillings yes and then me who does not like matoke if you watch my video about meal planning I decided to just on a whim try them out this time for once so these ones uh, went for this ones were 400 shillings quite an interesting bunch actually and then you guys this is one thing that I've never bought before but for my I want to try out a new beef stew recipe and it calls for celery and I decided no oh, why not so this celery my gosh will I remember this is one kg of celery. Look at this, it's a lot. And I bought it for 80 bob. This is quite a lot of celery. I might have to cook other things with it as well. Okay. 
Oh, it smells so good. You guys, let me tell you honestly. I only thought you can eat sal you can only eat celery in in salads. You can see the leaves, and my recipe calls for using all of it, so there will be like zero wastage here. It smells so good, you guys. It smells so good. It's also great uh, for using as a snack. You dip it in peanut butter. If you're trying to lose weight, like apparently I am, according to my nutritionist. So, maybe I should put some aside for dipping in peanut butter and eating. And I'm really hungry. And now here, I have some leeks. Now, this is another vegetable that I've only started using, using recently, not using. Um, on my way to the... On my way to where? On my way to the slaughterhouse, I started noticing something very strange. There's so many stalls on the side, on each side of that road, selling leeks. Only leeks. And I was like, okay, what's the deal here? Apparently, leeks go very well with meat. Like, who knew? Okay, if you knew, just tell me you knew in the comment section. I had no idea. So now I started buying leeks. And the last time you batch cooked, you guys, oh my gosh, that beef stew. It had leeks. That time I hadn't put celery, but it had leeks. And it was amazing. Yes, so I bought leeks. Lots and lots of leeks. Um, they were selling a kilo at 50 shillings, so I bought two two kilos, okay? Um, for you guys who don't live here, because I know I have a lot of viewers who are not in Kenya, uh, 100 shillings is equal to a dollar. So if I bought this for 50 shillings per kilo, that means these four kilos I bought for 200 shillings, which is two dollars. All that, yeah, two dollars. All right, something else that I bought, okay, forgive my light and, and, and cables. All right, something else that I bought are these cassavas. Yes, because apparently I should reduce my intake of wheat. It's slowing down my metabolism and all that manner of fancy, fancy things that are just making me depressed because you guys know how much I love bread. <laughs> if you watch my previous grocery haul video. So I decided to buy a bit of cassava for having with my coffee in the morning. I've not bought cassava before. Uh, I have had cassava before, but I didn't buy. My mom brought for me from up country. So now, these ones were being sold for 50 shillings. It's, it's pretty heavy. This is like one kilo or even slightly more. So these ones were going for 50 shillings a piece. So these are for 150 shillings. And yes, looking forward to that. I do love cassava, I won't lie. Um, this is chicken. Seven kilos of chicken legs that have been skinned and cut into nice pieces from city center not city center city market yes that's where i still buy my chicken from there i keep asking you guys to help me find cheaper alternatives some guys are dming me on instagram telling me yes you sell chicken legs they go for 500 shillings i'm like okay watch my videos know that i'm i'm feeling pain paying 350 shillings don't ask me to pay 500 shillings please so now, uh, yes, and then those guys are so nice, they're so kind, they always skin for me and cut for me and all that. So now they just seem to be put in the pot and stewed. Using the recipe that I showed in my previous uh, batch cooking video, please check it out. So yes, that's my seven kilos of chicken legs. Cool. Oh, and in the description box, I will put the contacts of the shop. I actually got the contacts of the shop where we buy um our chicken from at city market very nice guys i've been buying it from them for okay we've been buying from them for 10 years now basically really nice guys honest with their skills they don't try and finish their skills so that you pay more for less and all that nice stuff all right so that's our chicken and here we have ginger it's been washed it doesn't come like this guys and uh, we bought it at we bought it i bought it for hmm i bought it for 100 shillings per per kilo today the price is very fair usually it goes for 130 and here i bought rosemary they sell a bunch like this for 10 shillings i bought two bunches which we rarely ever finish by the way and then here i have broccoli it was going for a kilo was going for 100 shillings then we have some sweet potatoes 
these ones were going for 50 shillings per kilo that price has not changed for the last million years it's always 50 shillings per kilo and then we have our onions today it was a bit pricey because i bought it at 70 shillings per kilo these are two kilos sometimes it can even go down to 50 okay it's been a while usually sometimes it goes down to 60 and then we have our bananas as usual i bought a bunch of sweet bananas for us for the grown-ups because yeah we are also special and we deserve good things and then i bought these other ones for with all these by the way you guys i don't know if you can see this all these bananas i bought for 200 shillings let me count for you just how many pieces they are you know just in case you're wondering okay so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty two so 32 bananas for 200 shillings do the math all right then we have this whole whole pot full of courgettes a kilo was going for for 60 shillings so i bought four kilos 240 the price normally fluctuates around there my lovely yummy bright huge healthy looking tomatoes do the price was not so healthy because okay the price was not so healthy yeah because it was going for 80 shillings per kilo so i bought four kilos so these are for 320 shillings three dollars for those who care and then carrots oh my gosh these carrots were going for four four for 300 shillings all these and you guys they're many they're being covered by these danias here let me see if i can move the danias so you see they are quite 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 a lot of carrots it's a small bucket basically for 300 shillings and then you know that you buy the pack for you and then they add they just add and add and add uh melon today was going for 33 shillings per kilo this is a seven kilo melon which the guy just charged me 210 shillings or 200 shillings i think he charged me 200 shillings then i bought chili because people here like chili these ones this was the smallest portion i could buy these ones went for 30 bob see quite many some guys like chili here so that will come in handy i bought three cabbages for one was going for one no today the cabbages were expensive you guys because i bought it for 80 bob and i never buy more than 70 shillings at the most and they're not even that big but anyway sometimes you lose sometimes you win i bought green pepper hmm i bought the green pepper at 60 70 shillings 70 shillings per kilo i bought four yes because i remember it came to two, 280 yes and then i bought green maize this time i decided to buy green maize that had already been removed from the cob so but then we've already boiled it it's ready for eating and i've already eaten a few handfuls <laughs> all right this is my bucket of potatoes which i bought for 600 600 shillings yeah it's quite a big bucket by the way last time i didn't show you guys how big the bucket the the, the whatever was so that big bucket of potatoes was going for 650 very nice deal this one will last us three weeks then we'll be good with that roast potatoes mostly and then i bought peas which we have shelled half and not shelled half i bought them for 400 shillings these ones need to be boiled like yesterday and then what haven't i shown you guys Ooh, i bought avocados as much as it pains me and look at how huge this thing is and the only reason i bought this avocado is because i saw another lady there in the market actually the lady i buy 
I buy the papers from. So when I was just there buying the papers, someone came and then brings for her like half an avocado that had been cut. I think she had bought it. I don't know what happened. And then I looked at the avocado on the inside. My gosh, it looked so nice and healthy. I was like, where did you buy that from? And then she showed me the person she bought it from. And then I was like, okay, I have to find, I have to get those avocados really nice and healthy. So yeah, I bought myself three of them. All these three, and they're really huge, you guys. Okay, children are here. <laughs> All these three uh, cost me 100 shillings. Look at that. Let me tell you guys, in my neighborhood, this thing, this huge avocado, I'm going to be sold for at 70 bob. Hands down. And I bought it at 30 bob. And then I also bought garlic. Garlic was relatively affordable today because it was a kilo at a kilo at i think 300 because i know i bought half a kilo at 150 there about then i bought this forest of dania 400 shillings which we chop up and put in the freezer they freeze really well by the way you can try that i'm going to do okay i'm still going to do a video on how to preserve your vegetables you guys i haven't forgotten uh yeah but basically that's one way to preserve your your danias and last but did i talk about the pineapples last but not least if i haven't talked about the pineapples and the pineapples which i bought for 60 shillings a piece i always buy the same place by the you guys once you start going to the market you build a relationship with these guys and they always i mean like they're really it's really nice it's really nice because they're happy when they see you coming they give you deals and everything it's really cool so now I bought my pineapples as always uh, for four for sixty shillings. So this three, one eighty, and I'm missing what? I'm miss I'm missing something. Let me check what I'm missing. Hold on. Yes, I was missing apples. This is the last thing I bought. I, as you might know, feel very pain pained to buy apples. Such a tiny thing for twenty five shillings, and this one is even tinier than the apples I'm used to but i prefer to buy grapes but today you guys they were selling you know that that thing of grapes that that thing that thing that plastic thing they were selling to me at 350 shillings 350 shillings and normally i buy at 250 so of course you all know i said a vehement no and i decided to just go on with this tiny apples because my children love them so i bought eight pieces i think we've already had a few and eight pieces for 200 shillings Yep, and that's my grocery haul today from Mary Kitty Market. I hope this has inspired you to just go and look for cheaper alternatives wherever you live. If it's Mary Kitty Market, um, that's even fantastic. And yes, so there you have it, guys. That is how much I bought from the market today. In total, I spent about 5200 shillings remember that's enough to take us for a month i'll just add fruits for about 1200 shillings in the middle of the month so i'm okay with that and then for the chicken legs i spent 2660 because i remember he sold to me the price has gone up for chicken legs you guys you remember i was complaining about 350 now it's 380 oh man Anyway, so I bought seven kilos, so it was coming to 2,660, basically, yeah. So that's how much I spent for the entire haul. And now I'm getting ready to cook it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give us a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content that you like, don't forget to let us know in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit the notification bell and eat healthy. Don't be like me. Bye.